Hey guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to withdraw or downgrade from the One UI 2.0 beta back down to the old One UI that runs on Android 9. So if you guys are on the beta right now and you're getting a lot of bugs and everything else and you just want to get rid of it and go back to regular Samsung, um, just follow me guys. So what you're going to do is go to your app switcher, your apps drawer. At the very last page of it, you're going to have this One UI beta app. If you're in the beta, you'll have this app. Um, go ahead and press on that guys. It'll come to this main screen and it'll say thank you for participating all this stuff. So what you're going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way and then we're going to go to settings. And then you're going to go down to One UI beta program. You're going to go ahead and press on that. And then you're going to read this through so this explains that you need to use smart switch on your PC. So you have to have a PC to connect this to in order to actually go back from One UI beta. Um, it says right here, is there any preparation required? So you have to download Samsung smart switch and I'll show you that application as soon as we get done with this. So Make sure um, on your PC, just go ahead and download Samsung Smart Switch. Um, the website will be in the description below. And then it explains, it explains, it explains, blah, blah, blah. And then you hit withdraw. It'll say withdrawing. This is an official software to reinstall, blah, blah, blah. Just go ahead and say next. And you tell them why you don't want it anymore. So for me, it was stability and errors. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and compatibility with third party apps. Also, the performance was pretty bad. So we're going to go ahead and say submit. Withdraw from the One UI beta program, okay. You're withdrawn, but this does not put Android 9.0 back on your on your device. What you have to do next is go to the, or just come with me to my computer screen and I'll show you guys from there. Hey guys, welcome to the PC part of this. So if you follow the directions uh, from the phone side of this, um, I wanted to make sure you downloaded Smart Switch. So search Google for Samsung Smart Switch or follow the link in the description. Um, once you get it all going, you have all the permissions and you connect your phone to your computer. You're going to come up to a page like this. So your phone will be connected in. Um, I got mine connected right now and it's going to say Galaxy. Um, it's going to say you can go back to a previous version of software, downgrade. It's got a button right here, but don't press it yet. Make sure you click the backup first and run a full backup of your phone. Guys, I've already done this. I've already backed it all up. I do not want you to lose any of your data or anything like that. You could lose all kinds of stuff uh, downgrading. You might end up with a, just a blank phone and to start from scratch. If you do want to start from scratch, then go ahead and hit that downgrade button. If you do not want to start from scratch, do a backup first. And then we're going to do a restore afterwards, and I'll show you guys how to do that. So go ahead and click this downgrade button right here. You're going to say continue to that page. It's warning you that you might lose all your data and everything else, and to please do a backup. So please, please, please do a backup. In a couple seconds, it's going to pop up with a screen that says um, that it's going to actually download the stuff now. Maybe, maybe mine's frozen. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, mine froze. So I'm going to go ahead and do a task manager. We have to open my phone up. There it is. There it is. There it is. All right. So we're going to say all confirmed. Confirm everything right there. It's going to configure the software update environment. So this is going to be really quick. And then when it actually downloads, it's going to start downloading the software update. So I had already started this process, guys, and then I'm getting right back into it. It takes a long time. So I'm not going to make you guys watch that. I'm just going to skip through it, and I'll see you guys when it hits 100%. Hey, guys. Welcome back. So it's updating the phone right now. So after it hits 100%, You'll hear your computer do a little boop de doops and then it will go into the actual update itself. So your computer will say downloading. Oops, sorry. Everything is backwards. Downloading. Smart switch is the easiest way to back up, blah, 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 blah. Connect your device to get started. So we're not actually going to disconnect and reconnect just because smart, smart switch says so. So it's downloading right now onto the phone. You can see a little progress bar on the phone and then it's going up on the screen as well. This is going to take a little bit of time, guys. It'll probably take about two or three minutes. Um, I'm just going to fast forward you guys through the details of this. So just sit back, relax while your phone downgrades to Android 9 and um, Samsung Smart One UI 1.0. They all have such long names, but you know what? It's actually at 16%, so we'll probably just fast forward through it.
Yeah, well, I've been doing this. I've just been watching some. The new season of Jack Ryan just came out. For me, it's November 2nd, I believe. Um, so the new season of Jack Ryan just came out. So I've been watching that. Um, if you guys want to check that out, it is on Amazon Prime. Just watching and waiting. So if you have to cancel this for any reason, if you look down at your phone, it'll say if you hold the vol volume down key plus the power key for more than seven seconds, it will cancel and restart your phone and put you back. Um, like if you change your mind in the middle of this, you can still change your mind all the way up to this point. Volume down key and power key will um, allow your phone to restart and stay on its current software. So if you guys have already backed out by this point, you can still you can still get out of it. I just can't I just can't live with the bugs. There's bugs all the time. When I want to open an app, I want it to open. I don't want to sit there and restart my phone every single time I want to open an app. And that's what's been happening to me. I've been having all kinds of issues with my phone just not opening apps, not op or like you're in a game or something like that and it just closes on you or I read a lot of like the Google News and you try to open an article and it just won't open or it doesn't recognize my um my okay Google's. It doesn't recognize anything like that right now. So um, I've just had a ton of issues, too many to live with, so I'm switching it back to the old one. That's why I'm doing it. You guys, let me know in the comments why you guys are switching back from uh, the One UI 2.0 to 1.0. So it says, software update for Galaxy is complete. The device will now restart, disconnect, and reconnect the cable. Okie dokie, will do. It's installing system update on my phone. And erasing. Um, and it's rebooting. So once it once it reboots all the way, that's when you would disconnect and reconnect. There's no real reason to disconnect and reconnect right now, because um, it's rebooting anyways. So all right, there we go computer just made the noise that it just reconnected so it should be very close to being ready to go at this point it's saying samsung on my phone like it does when it reboots now guys if you did do a backup and you want to restore your backup i'll show you the button to press right after this i'm going to see right now if it's going to delete everything on the phone or not um, and i'll let you guys know as that comes up still loading There we go. So starting Android on my phone now. USB file transfer is not allowed. So when we, all right, so it's booting up like a brand new Samsung device saying, let's go. Like I just bought it from the store. So we're probably going to have to um, put everything back on. I'm going to go ahead and get into it first. So go through all the settings to get into it. Bring your old data for quicker setup, um, cable and USB connector. So make sure you hit cable and USB connector on this screen, guys. If you guys did a backup, Make sure you hit cable and USB connector. Whoops, sorry about that. Uh, update smart switch. So we're going to update using uh, Wi-Fi. So it's just making sure that you have smart switch on your phone. Because even if you, though you downloaded smart switch on your phone earlier in the, in the process, you have to do it again. So I actually need the... I'm going to use mobile data just to make it easier because otherwise I have to go get my Wi-Fi password. So it's going to go ahead and download the updates, guys. And this is downloading Smart Switch onto my phone right here. Once I get Smart Switch on my phone, it'll ask me to allow the USB file transfer. And I'll say yes, and then it will update and put all the old data. It will restore all the old data onto the phone. So I'm back at the bring your old data for quicker setup. And I'm going to make sure you click cable and USB connector and then click next. All right, then it says get connected. Use a USB device. So I can't show you from my phone screen right now without doing it this way. So it says connect your phone to the new Galaxy, blah, 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 blah. All right, so all we're going to do is uh, say we're going to disconnect and reconnect. USB file transfer is not allowed. Well, you know what? It is.
Oh man, we're gonna. Well, we'll just skip it for now, and then when we get into it, we'll do it. I just want me to choose a Wi-Fi network. We're gonna go ahead and skip that. It's gonna check for updates. This is gonna use some of your mobile data if you do not connect it to Wi-Fi. I don't really care right now, so I'm just not putting in the Wi-Fi password because it's super long and annoying to put in. Installing updates, just a sec, checking info. Enter your current PIN. Checking info, sign in to your device. Enter your password. So you're gonna log into your Google account. It's checking the info again, getting account info. So it's basically setting it up like it's a brand new device. Um, and then we're gonna do the restore. It's a good thing I did a backup. So it said four hours ago I did a backup. Um, on my phone, it's showing a backup that was completed four hours ago. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, back it up from there. I might still back it up from my computer to get anything that I got within the last four hours. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and rest. Uh, let's say don't restore right now. I'm just waiting for it to get into the actual phone. So I'm just going through all the settings, all the beginning stuff. Check out what's trending. I don't care. All right, accept. Adding finishing touches. This may take a few minutes. Oh man, sign into your Samsung account. Let's uh, let's, let's skip that. Skip all this. Skip. All right, done. All right. Allow. All right, there we go. Now when you say allow to let your computer talk to it, then we're finally into the thing where we can say restore. So we're going to go ahead and load restore now. Restoring data. Awesome. So it says keep your screen on on your phone. Um, and then on the PC, it's saying restoring data. So it's restoring reminders. Everything else that you had in your phone beforehand is restoring right now. Getting all kinds of alerts. Do not disconnect the cable. My phone keeps banging. Sorry about that, guys. Go away. We're just going to let this restore go all the way through. It also, your phone usually will do backups on its own. So if you did a backup um, on your device, make sure you connect it to Wi-Fi and go ahead and restore it that way. But this is the way I want to do it because uh, I don't feel like typing in my Wi-Fi password right now. <clears throat> so now it's going through all the apps that I had. Well, 92 of them. If this video helped you guys to downgrade, please go ahead and drop a like while your phone is doing this. Please drop a like, please subscribe. I really appreciate you guys being here, watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Um, I'm just like a small YouTuber still, but I'm trying to grow and I'm just trying to help people out. That's all I want to do this for. I just want to make videos that help people out so you guys don't have the same problems as I've got run into. I try and like find the fix for them and then make a video about it. So please, please help support the channel by subscribing and liking the video. Thank you guys. If you guys have any problems that this video did not teach you how to fix, please drop a comment and I will try to help you. I usually reply to comments the same day or the next day. So please, please let me know. All right, we're almost done. All right, backup is successful. In two minutes and 25 seconds, it has restored all the backup. So we are done, guys. Let me open up my phone. 
I'm gonna go connect to the Wi-Fi, all that good stuff, organizing your stuff. So my phone is organizing, I guess, putting everything back where it belongs, unpacking that restore that you just put into it. So you can disconnect the USB cable at this point and move on with your life. Um, make sure that you re-log into everything. I doubt that it's gonna log into everything again for you, so you probably have to re-log into all your accounts. Um, all your apps and everything should still be there. All your pictures, everything else should still be there though. Um, so this is how you downgrade without losing any data. This is how you downgrade from One UI 2.0 without losing any data. Updating messages data. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, this should be the end. I don't think there'll be anything else. If there is, I'll add it to the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, please drop a like. Please subscribe. It means a lot to me, guys. Um, I love having you guys on the channel. I love just like being able to make videos that help you guys out. So thank you for watching for the, like the third time. And I'll see you guys on the next video.